Everybody, Saturday got some uh, beautiful uh, green fabric ahead of me today. Uh oh, what happened? Is that black? Oh, there we go. Okay, um, uh, beautiful fabric ahead of me today to work on. So make some beautiful feathers. Hello, hello. Welcome everybody. Y'all came in so fast. It's like hello. <laughs> Hi, quilting buddies. It's Dawn of Fate. Exactly. We are quilting buddies. Hello, Miss Pat and June and Helly. Hello, Miss Tina and Lynn and oh my goodness. I'm gonna try and say your name. Uh uh Elliot Calsavara. I'm sorry if I made that a big mistake. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried. Hello. Welcome. Welcome from Brazil. Hello, Monica and Jackie. Hello. Hello. Hello, Laurel and Sass and Robin and Mimi and, and Robin from R.I. Sound Crafts. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Hello, Miss Gwanny. <laughs> welcome. Hello, Virginia. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Miss Vicky Hibbs. Hello. Hello. Happy everybody's here. Hello, Cheryl. What's going on? I just got this last little of uh, the dark green to uh, press. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, as always, early. <laughs> hello, Wendy. Hello, Corrine. Hello, 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 Judy, Georgia. All, all's good today. All's good today, definitely. Oh, Carol and Peggy and Kathleen, welcome everybody. Happy Saturday. Welcome to your guild meeting. Hope you brought a snack for yourself or at least a beverage, something to keep yourself occupied. So I know I said when I was going to go camping with my girlfriend, Sandra, that I was going to bring something to do. And then as I was packing my bag on the Thursday and I thought to myself, I really would rather just be in the moment with her. So I brought nothing. I brought me. I brought me, my water, my food I was supposed to bring, and whatever else, and that was it. And I had a fabulous time, and I'm glad I didn't bring anything because I was in the moment. I didn't want to put my head down in a, and not be in, in the weekend, you know? So, yeah, I was happy I did. Where's Sophie? She is laying down in the bedroom. I literally saw her just as, <laughs> she, just as we were starting. She came off the chair and into the bedroom, and I'm like... My co-pilot is, is leaving me. She's going to go sleep in bed. Come on, come in your chair. <laughs> come in your chair, Zoe. There you go. She heard us talking about her. There she is. Now she's coming. There you go. You're a good girl. <laughs> I guess she wanted to sleep in the bedroom. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Mitchell. He says, hi to all the ladies. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, there she is. She's there. No worries, no worries. Great news about moving LL and Papa Munchkin. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you very much. Very positive. It's we, we just can't do what we want to do here, so we're going to find the place where we can. Let me tell you. Because I want to meet all of you who want to come and meet us. Let me tell you. And it would be nice to be able to have that space where you can just come and hang out. You don't got to go nowhere. We'll feed you. We look after you like your family. And you just come and just hang out and have the quilt shop retreat. So we're excited. Super, super excited. There she is. Yes. She's in her chair. <laughs> I did have a great weekend. I really did. And I'm glad I was, like I said, I was in the moment. I didn't, I didn't distract myself by doing something else. I, you know, as much as it probably would have been nice on the, the, when it rained for 14 hours straight. But you know what? We played Uno and a cute little block building set in competition against each other and timed it out. And, how, you know, it was good. It was really good fun. So I'm glad we didn't. Uh, oh, oh, what happened? Pat, so sorry for you. What's going on? Uh, unfortunately, not any better leg is giving me aggravation. Oh, really? Oh, my, I got my, my left knee was really giving me a hard time camping. And I'm like, I've all the, and, and, and Sandra's active. She's got two young boys, one's six and one's 10. So I felt very pokey and slobbish trying to, you know, kind of keep up with her. So, um, I, I did the best I could. And I told her when I, I couldn't anymore cause I was, you know, hurting or something like that. I didn't, I don't want to be stupid or, or silly or anything. So 
I told her, I'm <clears throat> like, okay, we're just making it this far, and then and then we got to, like, turn around and go back, so, because I wasn't going to make it any farther, you know what I mean? And I don't want to be that much of an embarrassment to my friend and to myself, right? So, but, yeah, no, no, it's, it's my left knee. I, I heard it about a year and a half ago in the yard, and it just never really healed quite properly, and it seemed to get more aggravated as I was on crossing guard. I guess it was the way I, my stance or how I walked or, you know, whatever. It just got a little bit more irritated. It, it's bothered me more when I was on crossing guard. So, but uh, the past few months it's feeling okay. And I did okay on that weekend. So, but hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Claudette. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, Kathy Quilts. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Heather. Gita. Hello, hello. Everybody doing good today? I did. I did have fun camping. I really did. Yeah. I just wish it wouldn't rain so much, but that's all right. You know, poop happens. You got to deal with it. All right. So we got our, uh, hold on. Let me show you what I did do. Cause I did a bit. I did a wee bit since our last time, you know? Okay. So can we go for the overhead camera? Cause I want to point out my boo-boos, but also, um, be happy with my successes. So just, just so everybody knows. This, is, this has been a learning process, okay? So these ones are all good. This one, this one. This one's the boo-boo and this one's the boo-boo. Okay, so this one last time, okay? You can see how normally this dark part would go, sorry, this part dark part would actually go all the way around the little project and I missed it. I missed a spot, oh my gosh, right there. So I missed, I missed a thing coming down on this side. So I just ended up tucking that little raw edge in just a smidgy more. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. Okay, so that was my first one. That's for, we did that on stream. Somehow I missed that. I don't know how I did, but because you, you can see the, how the dark continues up and around here as the little corners. Somehow I, I buggered that up, but that's okay. Lesson learned. Tucked it under, moved it off to the side. Second one. Clearly you can see my boo-boo. <laughs> And the only excuse for that is I was distracted. <laughs> I had somebody in my space and they were talking to me and I literally just put it all together and I didn't realize until I was about here that that somehow missed its spot. But at least there was enough fabric to cover it and I didn't really have to worry. So boo-boo number two. <laughs> the rest, hold on, we'll show them. Let me do the purples first. Look beautiful and I switched out and how I was laying out the colors because I wanted to. Not everyone is going to be the same, right? So I want to have fun with this project and make it as rainbowy and as mixy matchy as I really like. Hello, Elizabeth. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Joe Marie. Welcome, darling. So, and then I made two yellows. I, th uh, I did those ones exactly the same, okay? And they turned out really nice. I was happy with them. Very, very happy with them. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. 48 pieces in this darn thing, let me tell you. Holy moly. And then I did two blues. This one I still have to trim, but I did two different blues. Isn't it pretty? It's, it's unique. I mean, because not all feathers should be the same, too. So I really did think about just incorporating these into the project. You know, if I did so many of this color and so many of that color and so on and so forth. And you know, I can make myself a nice little wall hanging. So, but it definitely is time consuming. Um, I, I don't know if I'm fully committed to making the all 75 of them, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give her a go. <laughs> this is going to be one of those like kind of long-term uh, projects that we work on a live stream. We'll take a break for a couple months and I'll work on some things on the side and then we'll bring it back out and relive it. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 it's been a lot of work. It takes about an hour and a half maybe ish to do each one maybe you could do them faster if you're not distracted or or i don't know i don't know i see i i thought i thought i got into a good rhythm rhythm when i was doing the or the yellow orange ones the other day and then um unfortunately when i was doing the blues it kind of got broken up so i kind of didn't get myself a good time to how it was going to work uh, time wise wise so but yeah i'm pretty happy with them i'm pretty happy with them so far so 
<laughs> oh, James, oh, Chris, oh, Kirk, well, Deborah Davidson. <laughs> they did great. Well, thank you, Pat. I appreciate that. I tried. I tried. <laughs> it was only like, it was really, it was funny with that blue one with the like, the long leg. It was like the long legged blue. That one right there. <laughs> it was kind of like, and I didn't really notice until I was down here stitching and they just happened to flip it over and we're like, um, that seems like a little long. Uh oh. Whoops. But at least there was enough fabric, or I probably would have noticed it sooner, but there was enough fabric to cover it, so. <laughs> it's like, whoa, whoa. Wes and Wernd. <laughs> I embarrassed myself on Friday. Oh, oh, do tell, Sass. Do tell. Hello, Emily is here. Hello, Zella. Welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Hello, Judy. Hello, Elaine. Hello, Dolores. I have been busy Elaine, when, when I could, when I tried squishing in here and there and everywhere during this week, so. Indeed, indeed. Always in pain here, too. I wish I would get some, oh, we have actually, it's raining right now. Or is it, did it stop? No, it's, it started raining about noon, about an hour and a bit ago. So, and I don't know how long it's supposed to last, but Pop got the lawn mowed this morning, which was good, which is good. I'm glad he got it done first thing, so. I think they're looking pretty too, their Kathy quilts and crafts. I think I'm, I'm liking them. I'm liking them. Hello, Miss Pamela. Finally getting my sewing room back after four months of my husband taking it over for a job. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Poor Pam. We're actually going to go for, for breakfast on uh, Tuesday morning. And Miss Jo Marie and I are hopefully going to meet for blueberry pie on Wednesday. Aren't we ladies? We got plans, don't we ladies? <laughs> Gotta hang out with some of my peep, my favorite peeps before we moves away. So, and um, if, if some people are kind of curious what we're talking about, please go check out the Home and Hearth Living channel. We made an announcement yesterday on that channel, and it is very important and essential to us here at the quilt shop. Morning, Sammy D. Hello, Lena. What you doing? What's going on? Uh, went home to mom's for the day. On the trip down, I said to my daughter-in-law, would be funny to run into this lady and ran into a TikTok lady and I can't even remember what I said, was stupidly excited. <laughs> <sighs> I remember, okay, okay, okay. Way back, way, way, way. We're just gonna call this um, BP. So it's before pop, okay? This was happened before pop. I lived in Calgary and I lived downtown and I had an apartment and I had a motorbike and anyways I worked at the um, Winston Hotel I think it was anyways in the candy shop and smoke department like the little little thing in the hotel where you could buy all your candies and pops and treats and stuff like that when everything else is closed anyway so I worked there really odd hours okay Howie Mandel, I've told this uh, story to, to Pop. Howie Mandel was doing a show at the Saddle Dome, okay? And he was sold out. I didn't realize he was staying in the hotel. And it was only my third or fourth day there. I think maybe I've been in there a week. I so, and I was a huge fan of Howie Mandel, totally, completely. You know, the whole little squeaky voices and everything was just totally up my alley. And um, he came in and he asked for peppermint gum and he said he said do you have any peppermint gum and I was like oh my gosh it's Howie Mandel Howie Mandel's in front of me and he wants peppermint gum I know we have peppermint gum I've seen peppermint gum and I was just like all I could think of was just like bubble gum I, like and it was like peppermint bubble gum I offered him and he says oh I've never had this before I'll try it <laughs> I felt so embarrassed I was like oh my gosh I can't believe I forced peppermint bubble gum on Howie Mandel but he took it he bought it and he left <laughs> But I was so embarrassed afterwards. I was like, oh my gosh, there was like literally 15 packages of peppermint gum right here and you have to offer them the bubblegum peppermint? Oh, I was like, oh, like good gravy, Laura Lynn, good gravy. So yeah, it's totally embarrassing. But he, he, he said it was a, you know, and you know, he asked if I wanted him to sign anything and I didn't have anything to sign except for my work shirt and I wasn't having him to sign that. So I said, I'm sorry, not right now. I said, but if you happen to pass by again, please drop off. Like, you know, I'll take, I'll take a t-shirt. I think I said, so <clears throat> I know how embarrassing, right? How we met Dell. <laughs> Here, have, have something new. I'm forcing something new on you. Try some peppermint bubble gum. <laughs> 
Yeah. It was funny. <laughs> okay, so we need five. Th this works perfectly with five inch squares, okay, this whole project. So here, I got my little two templates. I figured I'd at least start, try and start one today. We'll do the green. Let's go back to our little section where we need to work from. So this is the Peacock Abstractions Quilt, a foundation paper piecing project by Violet Craft. And if you go to their website, which I believe is just violetcrafts.com. I don't see it here and I'm sorry. Uh, yes, violetcrafts.com, I apologize. Um, and you can also hashtag them if you're doing this project at Peacock's Abstractions. Okay, so it's very cute. Uh, I picked up this whole little kit here. It had a few projects. There was this one here which I plan to do. This one here at the back, which just is a little bit different. The tail feathers are actually to the side and the back. And then there's the one we're working on here, which is just completely feathers, not the peacock at all, just the feathers, the rainbow feathers. So, okay. So now what we want to do with these pieces is section them out to the center eye, first ring, second ring, and outer ring of this uh, project, okay? I'm going to use our small little ruler here. So we want to make sure we're having like the medium, the dark, the medium light, and the light all in their order. So I think that one's the light. I'd say this one was the medium light, and that was the medium dark, and that was the dark. Okay, so we'll section it out like that. So from the center eye right here, we're going to cut two pieces, which is a two inch by two and a half. And that'll be piece two and piece three, okay? So let's line it up here. Put it on the ruler at two and a half. Oh, no, two, sorry, I apologize. It's two, and then they, we cut it in half, and then that's our two pieces, okay? All right, line it up here on the ruler. So that's our two and three piece. This can go over to the side. We'll do our first ring piece, which is the a light. We need... Uh, one and a half, a one and a half, and a two. Okay, so let's get that sliced up right now. A one and a half, a one and a half, and then what's left over is two. So from the two one and a halfers, we're gonna cut at three inches and two inches. Okay, well, in between the three and the two. Okay, all right, so there's our pieces, just like that. And then this piece right here is going to go in halves. Um, two and a half. All right, there's that piece. So let's go over there. That's there. Next piece here is outer ring. And we're going to use a one and a half, a one and a quarter, a one and a quarter, and a one. Okay, so first let's get the one and a half. And there's one and a quarter one and a quarter, and then we should have a one, okay? From the one, we're gonna get a two and three quarters and a two and one quarter, okay? So let's line that up there. And then from the one and a half, uh, they are gonna be two and a quarter and two and three quarters, okay? And once you get all your bits all sorted out, it really goes together quite fast. And then this top one here is one whole piece. So we're just gonna leave that there. Okay, and last but not least is the second ring, which we need to cut. This one I found really hard to read without me old lady gaggles, also known as goggles. I can see it with the goggles on, but it's the dark print. One inch, one inch, one and a quarter, and one and three quarters. Okay, so let's get the one inch, one inch first. Okay. Everybody have a fantastic weekend with Pop and Munchkin last weekend. It seems like you guys had a good time. Okay, and then this one is a whole piece, this one is a whole piece, and this one we're gonna get chopped up into two and a half and two and a half. Okay, so halfers. And then we're ready to start putting this beautiful green one together. Uh, we put it in the order it's supposed to be in. Okay, there we go. And I got my, um, uh, what were they called? Barbs, barb fabric and background fabric. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
We did. You did have a good week. I'm awesome. Heard of gaggle of geese is my gaggle of glasses. <laughs> it's me gaggles. Gaggles in for focus. <laughs> <sighs> oh, okay. All right. Uh, ever thought of blowing up the sizes to read them better? It was just on this part, only that one little section there, Lena. But I did, I actually had to ask Pop, and I was going to write on it with a, a permanent marker right next to it so I could actually see it a little bit better. But I, I didn't know if I wanted to mark up my, my little booklet. So I could. I could. It wouldn't bother me because it's mine, and, you know. It's just that one little section, because it's like dark on dark. I'm like, I have a hard time reading the dark on the dark without some sort of assistance, you know, on that one. Anyways, the rest I had no problem with. But it's just really hard to see that little, this, the, the numbers, especially when they're not putting it outside the border, they're putting it inside the, the fabric, right? So. Did the long arm fix? Oh, <laughs> the, the tops are ready, or the top of the placemats are ready, but they haven't hit the long arm yet. See how, see how dark it is? It's kind of hard. It's hard to see that. Hello, Miss Caroline. Where are you from? What's going on with you today? <laughs> yeah, I know, right, Helly? And I was just like, okay, it's not me. I know it's, I know it's just not me. I was like, even, even up close or even far away, nothing was helping. So, but literally, if I put on me gaggles, it did help. I, I think so, too. Thank you, Lois. I was thinking that, too. I'm thinking either they could have done a cream or something on that one, at least for the dark color. Yeah, that was a bit, it was like, the rest is easy to find. Like, you can see that. You can see the rest of the numbers, no problem at all. It's just on that dark, dark one, right? So, but that's okay. I think it's okay. Does anybody have a favorite one so far? Is it an orange or yellow or, or, or orange, yellow, purple or blue? I, I think I think I like this one. This one with the dark, dark outer rim. I think that's my favorite. It's my favorite so far on this one. Yeah. Well, I've only done the three colors, so it's kind of hard to tell. But you know, not not bad. Not a bad start. Need your meds? Okay. <laughs> and they're looking pretty good. Once you get into the groove of things there, Sass, it goes by pretty fast. B blue? You like the blue there, Virginia? Hold on. Or Georgina, sorry. All right. Hold on. I'll show you. I think I got three. Of them. There we go. One of me the boo-boo on and one I have to trim up. So, but yeah, here, let's show you those. Let's show you those. Those, those are the, they are pretty nice. And I like that it kind of mixed up the colors too. You know what I mean? The purple? Yeah? <laughs> yeah I got three of the purples ones too. There we go. It's, it's a less visible boo-boo than the blue. The blue is like, why is that leg so long? <laughs> you like the yellow-orange? I thought that, I thought you and Pat would like those that yellow-orange there, Lois. I know I do. I know I like it. And I like how the fabric is mixed, so you get some dark and some light as you're going around. So, No green. Well, we're working on that today. Sorry, Sass. Pop said, oh, no. Sass had green last week, and now she's got green this weekend? Oh, oh, no. I'm like, no, she won't. <laughs> she won't leave us. <laughs> All right, let's get started. <clears throat> See if I can find this pattern. Quilts in Birmingham. Oh, that would be nice, Jane. I hope so. Look for them. If not, maybe you can still order it. It's, it's, it's going to take a while. There's 48 pieces in this one section. Okay, it's more, it seems to take this, this part here takes, it seems to take a little bit longer, but as soon as you start getting down to these guys, it goes, it seems to go a little bit faster. I think we discovered that last, the, when we did it the first time around, so. Liking the colors I've used so far? Well, I thought if I mix them up, are you, you guys were, were okay with the idea of me mixing up the colors as I put the peacocks together? Because to me, I just seem to make a little bit more sense on the way things go they're not all the same right so why not mix up the colors does it have to be a certain way so you like the yellow yeah that's nice Helly. i i do have a, a light a light and magnifier for cross stitching it's in the the office yellow jackets orange tango Ooh, i like that too i like that too it looks nice yes i love the yellow <laughs> i knew she would i had a feeling she would <laughs> I'm uh, sending you a bill for my therapy for that color. 
I'm on the east coast of Ireland, been working in the garden all day. It's been glorious weather. Oh, nice, Caroline. Fantastic. Oh, I bet. I bet that's it's, it's glorious there. And especially when the weather is nice, you just really want to get out and enjoy it. I was picking peas and raspberries uh, this morning um, in the garden with Pop. I was sharing, well, sharing the raspberries. I wasn't sharing the peas. <laughs> All right, so piece number one needs to be two inches by two and a half inches. Okay, so that's this one right here, okay? We're gonna put that on the one spot. Yes, we is. And then we need piece number two, which is one of these guys. Okay, so they are excessive for the spaces needed. Okay, I'll hold it up so you can see the, the lighter green is for piece number one and the darker green is for piece number two. And you can see how uh, there we go. Okay, you can see the one and two. You can see how big a chunk of fabric they're making sure you're starting off with with this project. And you can see the difference. Like, you look, look, look at that. Like, seriously. Seems a bit excessive, right? So, but we're going to do the, we've been doing the best we can. There's been lots of little bits and bobs left over. Going to line it up. Put one on top of the other. Put it under the machine. I shorten my stitch. Oh no, I just turned the machine on. I'm gonna turn, st shorten the stitch to like, you know, 1.8, 1.5, somewhere in between there. Make sure you're good to go so when you stitch down, you know, when flipped, it's totally gonna cover that number two piece, okay? Or, you know, whatever piece you're aiming for. This seems like lots, so. I know it is a bit big, isn't it, Heather? But I don't wanna not do it right, you know? So. I'm, I'm giving it the justice. All right. So that's one and two. All right. Let me give it a good old finger press. And now we're going to go and pour it on. My poor great grandson got six hornet stings. Oh no! Oh, he's never going outside again. I bet. Oh my goodness, what happened? He must have come across a a nest or something. Poor little dude. Oh no! Line your other piece up. Yeah, thank heavens he's not allergic. He'd be in the hospital right now. We're gonna line up number three. Okay, make sure, got ample room on either side. I remember I was up at my girlfriend um, um, Gail's house and so Sophie got stung by a wasp. It was, there, there was actually, it happened to be a wasp nest underneath their desk, but she didn't realize that. And of course, Sophie happened to find it because she's a bigger dog than her little uh, Boston Terriers. So they never found the nest, but you know, Sophie did anyways. So one had come up and stung me on the hand and I was trying to call her in, like to, you know, get her inside the house because I knew she'd been stung. She'd been stung on the face. And I got stung on the hand and then I got stung on the on the leg. I was like, oh my goodness, like holy holy moly, these guys are vicious. <laughs> Alright, so number four is where we start the uh, second ring, I believe. Or the first ring. It's the first ring. Okay, so we need a two by one and a half piece of um Did I do that wrong? Oh no, it's this one. Okay. Two by one and a half. Okay. I was like, wait a second. I thought I had the wrong color. It's okay. It's okay. I'm all good. I'm all good. Make things more difficult for myself when I start mixing up colors. But I'm trying to aim it the way it is on this one for this one. And then I mix it up on my own. Okay, so four. So that's four, let's go five. So fold it on the five line. And I just got my big ruler this time around to trim up because you don't need a quarter inch ruler to, uh, to do it. You can do it with just a regular one. Uh, so this is piece number five and we need that to be one and a half by two. Okay, so, uh, uh oh, I didn't choose the wrong piece, did I? No. Uh, B5. 
I use the wrong one. Mm, I'm gonna use this one. No. Oh, that was supposed to be piece one. Okay, well, this you're gonna be piece five now, so, because you're big enough. <laughs> You'll do the trick, buddy. Apparently, I, apparently, we were supposed to have a bigger piece for piece number one, and I messed that up. Oh, well, it's okay. Not a big deal. Here at the quilter, I can't take any pictures because she asked me not to. She runs um, an events, uh, she's an event coordinator, so she has lots of mascot buddies. So she has 50 of them that need a little bit of mending or fixing on each one of them. So I, I literally have Paw Patrols in the back room with Pop <laughs> that need some fixing or mendings of the Paw Patrol. So that's been interesting. <laughs> All right, so this piece is number six, which you are this piece here. The strange things I get here at the quilt shop. So yeah, I went and saw her the other day and and uh, she gave me a few to get mended right away and then it was like, okay, and then she got a few more and like a, a mini costume and of course Paw Patrols and there's a couple other things and I was like, oh boy, <laughs> oh boy. All right, number seven, line it up, trim all that off and see. Seven should be this other big piece here. Okay. Make sure it gets lined up. Uh, hubby is lucky, happy, lucky hubby, and happy birthday to your dad. Oh, happy birthday to Heather's dad. Very nice. 72nd. Wow. Woo. You got to think of all the things he's seen. You got to think of all the things he has seen at 72. Exactly. Very nice. Okay, got it all there. And we need number eight, eight at the top here. Trim that off. Let's do eight and then we'll give it a press. Okay, just go, give it a little heat a little oven. If you guys aren't a member of our guild uh, website, you, you should be. Uh, which is www.wesewit.com. Uh, uh, we post uh, projects that people are working on, and Miss Pat Rem has just finished a gorgeous horse panel with accented mountain borders and uh, beautiful piece borders, really just to make that whole horse uh, panel pop. It is a stunning work of art. It's so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. She's kind of giving me a little inspiration for that really big uh, unicorn one that Allison uh, gifted to me a little while ago, and I really wanted to do something with it, and I didn't quite know how or what, but I've been inspired by Miss Pat, so I appreciate that, Pat. And um, it, is, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous project, and I, ho I hope the one that's going to really, really loves it. Hello, Beatrix. Welcome, welcome. No worries. We are, we are. Who's excited? I am. Who's excited? I am. <laughs> All right, we need nine. Nine, we start switching to another color. We start switching to this color, I believe. Nope. This color. This is the outer one, right? That would be this one. Yeah, this, that's the outer one. Okay, so this one. Mm-hmm. It is. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, yesterday was my fifth. Le yeah, I saw that on Facebook, Sammy D. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous, Pat. It's absolutely gorgeous. I was so inspired. I'm like, oh, look what she did. That's amazing. And I'm like, oh, I got I, I to gotta do something like that. Or, you know, you just gave me ideas. I didn't know what to do with it at, before. But as soon as I saw yours, all these ideas start popping in my head. And I really, really appreciate that. Hello, Lana. How's it going? <laughs> you guys really enjoyed the live stream with them last week? That's awesome. 
and your birthday tomorrow. Well, happy birthday, Sammy D. Happy birthday, Sammy D. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hope you have a great day. I really do. Hello, Miss Kimberly, Miss Bernadette. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy, happy everybody's here today. Uh, all right, what were we doing? We were doing number nine. Number nine. Which number nine is? We need me old lady gaggles. Oh, what did I do with those? Oh, right here. Uh, uh, all right, that's this big one right up here. Okay. So it's doing the dark green, and then we'll pop it out with a little bit of the medium green. Okay, bring it down a bit. Okay, tiny pieces. Some some are tiny pieces. Some are not so tiny. And it's like a question, what do I do with all the bits and bobs afterwards? Because I can show you what I've accumulated so far, and I've only done like seven or eight, right? So it's, it's going to be a lot by the end. I think it's going to be a lot. Okay, all right, let's press that one. So that's nine. Let's do ten. Ten's on the other side. Let's fold it on the line. Give it a trim. Make sure we're grabbing the right piece, which is the other one on this side. Okay, there we go. Oh, thank you, Suburban. We're excited too. And, and unfortunately, I wish we could show you guys what we're what we're looking at, but some of it is getting a little snapped up before we're getting our heart set on it. So we really have to wait for this one to sell first. So, and then and then we're we're hardcore looking. And we've got a few favorites. We're 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 pretty excited, and so is Munchkin, especially when he has his own. He gets his own feedback too. That's been really that's been really good for him too. Um, as as a He's still our son, but he's also a mutual partner in this whole living together thing, right? You know, because he is 25 years old. I want to treat him like an of him as of him as my my child, right? So I don't know. Does that make any sense? Or am I just so I want him to have his own opinion and and to give his feedback because I want him to be happy too. This is his legacy, right? And if he's not happy, that's not making anybody happy. We all need to be happy with the situation, and we're all we're all willing to be a little bit fe flexible too, right? You know, I really want water. Well, if I can't get water, then I'm digging my big pond. So, like, and and, and that's where I'm being flexible in the spot that I don't necessarily have to have water or water frontage. I'll make my own. If I don't get it, I'll make my own. And I'm resolved to do that too. I can hire a backhoe dude and say, hey, there's a whole acreage, start digging. You know. Make me a pond. Me want a pond to be fishing in and sticking my feet in on hot days, don't you know? It's going to be hot out there in the Maritimes. And I, I just, I want him to know that he's respected here too, living with us and being our son. And he's not always being treated like a child. He's, he has an opinion and we respect that. And I, and I really want his feedback. Right? I want him to be as just as happy as we are. I don't want him to go, oh, you know, I really wish we hadn't made this purchase or we hadn't done this or done that. And I, I would have felt really bad. I don't want him to not be happy. What am I doing? 13. 13 is the bottom one. I want us all to be happy with the choice. Like, this is going to be Papa and I's last move. We don't want to go anywhere else. Like, we're, we done, bud. We done. <laughs> So we want to make it the best that we can and have as much fun in the process. Uh oh, what's going on? Uh, we can we can take a break. Okay, then we can do that if you want. It's just going to be weird otherwise, right? So, just say be right back. Don't go nowhere, homies. Oh, we're back. I think we're back. I think we're back. I don't know. Or, no, no, we had just had to restart there, Vicky. Yeah, I had to restart Pop's computer. 
I'm getting the wheel of doom at the moment though. Okay. I think we might be back. I don't know. Mine's the wheel of doom. I am? Okay, but why is this not? That's weird. Hello? Hello? Why are you not working, working? Why are you so crazy, crazy? Holy pixelated. 144p? Oh, no wonder I so pixelated. Can we at least get 720? Oh my goodness. And at least only half the wrinkles show up. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, Pop had to restart his system, that's all. So sorry about that. Things were not going in sync, and it was uh, hopefully is now being in sync. Okay. Looks better, Pop says. Okay, there we go. So, Julie, I saw your comment. Yes, we are moving. We are selling our house. We've had viewings all week. We've had a viewing this morning. We have a viewing in two hours from now. <laughs> so... <laughs> We, 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 we're doing our best to, 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 to sell our house. Yes, we are. We have a dream. And uh, if you want to know about that dream, please go be a subscriber to the Home and Hearth Living channel on YouTube because we will be sharing our whole progress along this journey on that channel. Okay. So now is the outer ring, and I'm going to work on this uh, medium sort of tone green, and we're going to work away all the way around. Oh, thank you, Sarah. I appreciate that. Hello, Karina. Welcome, welcome. And welcome, Julie. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Big hugs to you. Uh, and I'm 16. We've got big adventures ahead. And we're so very excited. And just, like, uh, it, it's, it's, it, was, it, it wasn't a spur-of-the-moment thought. It was a thought we had for a little while, but we kind of tried to resist it. And then... I think we were looking at some of the prices that were there and then it was like, okay, well, what can we get for this? Because we've been here for 12 years. We bought in 2009 and, you know, it was, uh, you know we, don't know, we don't know. We have no clue. We know the market is hot, but how hot is it? We need a new bathroom reno. I mean, clearly it does. And obviously the basement needs work, but the kitchen looks really good. You know, so, and and I know it's not doing it any favors with trying to have a quilt shop with cameras and stuff in it, but there, some people are seeing beyond the crap load of buckets of fabric and huge butt, big long arm and big table and cameras and overhead lighting and, you know, they, they, they're seeing past that, which is good, which is being helpful for us, so. Because I can't not put it anywhere else besides where it is right now, so. Yeah, and with Pop and Munchkin being able to work remotely, you know, at least Munchkin, it doesn't matter where he is, but Pop, we're hoping we can be, his, his company will be a little bit flexible with that. Um, if not, uh, there, he said he has plans to just go and find another job somewhere, so. But, you know, no, no stress, right? So... Yeah, are you sure, Mindy? Really? Really? We've been talking about it for a couple, well, at least a year now. We started about a year ago, over a year ago, I think. So that's strange. We've ch chatted about it a few times. Well, I'm glad you're a new subscriber then. Well, thank you, darling. Appreciate it. And thanks for coming along this journey with us and giving us your emotional support because we're going to need it. I don't like moving. <laughs> I'm very resistant to moving. <laughs> But I know this is going to get us the goal and the what we're really, really looking for is, to, you know, to have that retreat where everybody can come and hang out and just have a good time. And I just I just I just want that so bad. And and the only way to do make that happen is, you know, sooner than the later. So hello, Mike. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, that would make me love a house even more <laughs> if it had a quilt shop in it, Kimberly. Well, buy it, Kimberly. Check us out. We're on the listing. <laughs> no kidding. You'd be like, oh, all right, it's already got a long arm in it. Holy moly, let's buy this, baby. And the, and the guy's like, what the heck is it? Well, when we talked to, to our real estate agent, which is like, I'm like, you do realize we're going to, I can't 
I can't move it. Like it's like 15 feet by, you know, six feet. I can't, I can't move that. I, it ain't hiding anywhere and I can't like cover it with quilts. So <laughs> hello, Marlies. Welcome. Welcome. How's New Jersey? Did you get affected by that uh, rainstorm too, that I saw that some of New York was flooded? Did you get affected by that as well? Where you are in New Jersey? Home and hearth living. Pop will put a link in there. I'm sure. Okay. There you go. HHL, um, that didn't work. He'll get it right, don't worry. All right, 19. There it is. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah, go check it out, watch that video. It's not very long, you can watch it right now. And then you, you'd be all caught up. Okay, we only just did that yesterday, so you're, 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 we're not hiding anything from you. Anybody has any questions, Pop and I are here to answer. Just just be happy, we're, you're on the adventure with us and we're just so excited. Uh-oh, what'd you do here, Dork Dork? Uh-oh, Dork Dork. dun na 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 Dork Dork. I got the corn folded down. Mm. Do, do, do. Only a couple little threads. There we go. Perfect. There's just a tiny little edge of the corner though. But I'm liking that. What do you guys think of that? The green so far. Heavy winds and thunder blunders. Oh, we got. We well, we had some rain. It was raining at noon, and it rained a little bit. It rained a little hard, but I think I think it might actually let up right now. So. 19, let's go 20, fold it on the 20 line. Do a little trim. Uh, we'll take them if we have to, but I may have a friend that will take the, the chickens there, Miss Sass. So I'm not too worried about it. We'll just get new hens wherever we are, wherever we end up. So I'm, I'm not worried about that. But if we have to take them, we will. And they'll just... They'll, Strangely enough, they'll go in a dog carrier in the car. <laughs> I'm sure the dog is going to love that with, you know, 10 chickens in the back. And <laughs> but we'll do what we got to do, let me tell you. <laughs> I will not abandon the chickens. The chickens will have a home, I assure you. No rain for us in southern Alberta? No? Uh-oh. Do you guys really need it there, Julie? Miss Lois was saying that it was either dry or raining. It was either one or the other. So when I was chatting with her the other day. Uh, I thought that too and almost had a heart attack. Oh, what, 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 Sammy? Oh, what did I miss? Oh my God. To be honest, when I saw the title yesterday, I thought I was losing one of my favorite. Oh, heck no. That's, that, that's all pop. <laughs> Heck no, no, no. We want to take you guys on the adventure with us. Oh my goodness. And then you and then you know, and you can pick which cabin or whatever you want to stay in when you come and have a retreat. You're like, I want the blah, blah, blah cabin. And, you know, because we're going to decorate the quilts and, you know, everything. It's going to be so much fun. And you can always leave your little stamp behind too, you know. If you want to make something, leave it behind and it goes in the cabin, right? Thank you, everybody, who's new, newly subscribed. Dry land crops or something. Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, I like that. That is sharp. I almost thought, actually, that this, before I got this green on right here, maybe go with the overhead there for a second. Sorry, down? Okay. Okay. I thought this green and this green looked very similar before I got this green on. And now I know I can see the difference. Hopefully you guys can too. So, yeah. Look, it looks good, it looks good. All right, now we get to start the white part. Get to start working down here on the barbs. It is pretty, isn't it? It looks like a pair of pants, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like a pair of pants? New pants dance, no pants, no pants. Everybody's doing it, everybody's grooving it. No pants, no pants, then no pants dance. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like a pair of pants to me. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one that looks like pants too. 
<laughs> I swear it looks like pants. <laughs> all right, so 21, we need 22. All right, now we're car starting to get into our background and barb fabric. All right, so 22 is up here. <laughs> It, it's going to be so much fun, Kimberly, and I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait. You're going to come. I know you are. You are. You're going to see it. You're going to come and hang out with us. We're going to have so much fun. And because we'll be in the Maritimes, it'll have other things for us to do. We can go places, see provincial capitals. And Check out the St. Hubert's Chicken Place. And <laughs> Def definitely on everybody's to-do list. Mm, yeah, uh, out a few, picked out a few possibilities. Yeah, but until this one is sold, exactly. We can't, we can't, we can't start making contact with anybody until you know this. Th we know this one is sold. As much as we would love to be dreaming, and trust me, we've been living off of Realtor.ca, and uh, and between the, the the provinces and stuff, we've we've looked in Nova Scotia. Oops, sorry, uh, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick. Uh, we've uh, opted not for Newfoundland, Newfoundland or Labrador. But um, Charlottetown or Prince Edward Island is not off the menu either. So, but I think we're really mostly looking in New Brunswick. I think that's where we're going to get the acreage we're looking for because we're looking for 50 to 100 acres. I think I think we won't settle for anything less than 20. I think 20 would be the absolutely absolutely minimum that we would settle for, um, uh, unless it was the bomb diggity of the bomb diggity and it happened to be 10 acres or something. We might, but. Uh, I think I think the bigger the better is what we're looking for. That's what we want. We want bigger and the betters. Oh, really? I didn't realize that. That's interesting, Julie. My girlfriend told me that a friend of hers, like she's been friends for for years and years here, literally just packed up and moved to Nova Scotia without any word to anybody. So, it's. Uh, it's uh, clearly the selling market is good in Ontario. So, oh, for peep Bob's sakes, did that again, folded it under. Um, so it, it's, it's, it's the right decision for our family right now to make sure that we can get the quilt shop up running sooner than later. We, we want it to happen now. The dream, the dream has very, been very tangible and touchable for the past year and a half with you guys helping in the donation to the build and stuff like that. And, and now we get to, you know, to put that money towards the building itself and, and making it a possibility now, not when we reach the 30, you know, like it's, it's, it's an, it's a now situation instead of a later situation. And that's, we're really excited by that too. And that doesn't mean the 12 hours will stop once, you know, we get the build and everything else like that. You know, they just may be for a different, different purpose at that point in time. Maybe they're the, the, all the money goes to a charity or, you know, we're focusing on a certain group or something like that. And, and then that's what the 12 hours goes towards once the building's all done up and running and, you know, making a, making a, a you know, a, a profit for itself for itself. So, you know, that's, that's definitely a very lovely and, and, and plausible idea is to be able to start focusing our energies towards a, a nice, a nice, um, charity fundraiser so we I think we could do a lot of good I think we could do a lot of good if we were just given the chance so. mm -hmm. hello Bettina what's going on with you today it's 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 a nice Saturday here Oh, awesome, Cynthia! You gotta, you gotta have a dream, and you can't give up on that dream. No, how old are you? No, how? No matter how old you are, I turned fifty this year, and I don't, I don't want to not be happy with where I am. You know, we we bought this place specifically for Munchkin to go to school in his uh, L, uh like he was going into grade seven, so it would have been grade seven to grade twelve. That's why we bought it here. It was right in a little town. And we thought we he'd make some friends here and stuff like that. He he didn't make no friends in town, <laughs> but that's okay. It helped me out because I ended up working 
at the grocery store and then I worked, uh, I was working for the township. So, I mean, it helped me and get me out and my, my, and get my business out there too with the alterations and creations part. So, you know, it was very beneficial to all of us. You know, I met a lot of people, made a lot of connections. My phone's been going off the wazoo since yesterday afternoon, let me tell you. It's ping, 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 pong and everything else. So that's 27. Put that here. Okay. Make sure I'm not tucked under. Hello, Annie. Oh, what's going on? Belgium is raining to get me too. Me too. It's green. It's raining here too. It's not too bad though. It's not too bad. Could be worse. Could be worse. Uh, could do a drawing for someone to choose. A That's a good idea. Or I thought we could actually put the funds together to fund somebody who wants to come and have a quilt treat with us. You know, like it's just kind of like a, an anonymous. If somebody wants to be put in the pile to be able to get a drawn to, to be able to come, you know, they say that's like a certain amount. So that would help you towards your retreat. And you really just had to get yourself there. The retreat was paid for and all your fabric was paid for and your food was paid for. You know, all that sort of stuff is one thing, right? So I don't know. There's a few things we've thought about and, and we would like to incorporate it. That's for sure. Oh, thank you, Karen Little. All good things, all good things. We 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 got it. We got to do this for us, right? We got to do this for so we can make this dream happen. It's not going to happen in this little, not even an acre lot. We need we need more acreage for this to happen. And as much as it's been a hard decision to say, I think we should be looking elsewhere. I think in a way, it's 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 really good for all of us, especially Munchkin as well, because he gets his own space and he really needs his own space. He's 25 years old, you know. He doesn't need to be the cellar dweller anymore or the basement, you know, basement buddy. He just, he needs, he needs his own space and he deserves it. All right. Putting some barbs on, baby. Putting some barbs on. All right. Let's stretch that white one out a bit. There we go. Like I said, we got plans. We got plans. You know, if it doesn't have everything we want, I'm I'm flexible to the point where I know we can. Like I said, if I if I want water, which I do, I want water on the land. And so if it's not a river, a lake front, or ocean front, then I'll, it will be renting me a backhoe and digging me a hole and making me a little swimming pond for me fish and me. But there's quite a few very beautiful, stunning pieces of property. So, and, uh, and it's, it, it's just, it'll just give us a nice, really good head start for Marcus's legacy, you know, so. And we just want, we want the best for him and him not to worry as much about things that we've always had to worry about. And that's, of course, that we always want that for our children, right? So we're, we're parents. We, we always want what's easier for our children than it was, than it was for us, right? And because Pop and I chose to travel around here, there, and everywhere like we were flight of fancy, you know, we didn't really get a chance to establish any sort of like legacy land for for him to, uh, you know, take over with his family or what have you. Already working on the accent too, of course I am. <laughs> and if you didn't know. <laughs> New Brunswick is the only bilingual province, so French and English is spoken there, so it'll be good for all of us to get our French in order. Comment allez-vous? Comment ça va? It's about a two-day move away. It's about two days' drive. I wonder why you're having any trouble with your internet there, Lynn. That sucks. That sucks. Mm. 
No, we'd know nobody. Nobody. We'd just, we'd be us. We'd be the only family there. Most of our, all of our family is west or here. And, uh, and, and, and I, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. It doesn't bother me at all. Closer to you, Annie-o. Closer to Miss Hallie, too. <laughs> We're slowly creeping. <laughs> Miss Allison, big hugs to you, my dear. Hope you haven't had a great time camping, driving home from RVing this week. Oh, very nice, very nice. It's probably much quieter during the week than it is during the weekend, that's for sure. So it's probably a good idea to RV during the week, if you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. What we think so far is looking good. <laughs> Do any more moves? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Build my little narrow boat, and then you know, like we, we could start floating across the pond. <laughs> narrow boat with big side dinghies. <laughs> Happy Saturday. It's a beautiful day. Uh, maybe a silly question, but does the time? Yeah, it does. It does. Where we would be an hour ahead of where we are right now. So it would be like 3.07 instead of 2.07. It's like, wait a second, we're missing a piece here. This is turning out so cute. Oh my goodness, I'm liking the green. I like the purple and the blue too, and the orange and the yellow. I, I don't think there's one I don't like so far. Even the ones I've kind of messed up on, I, I don't mind. Uh, last weekend, Pop did great on his project, but he didn't say anything. What, Mike? What? It's not the show we normally put on around here. I can't believe Pop was not following all the directions of at least singing one made-up tune. Pop. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> what am I going to do with you? Thought I said at least sing one tune. People are expecting the musical talent. <laughs> and Pop used to be a barber shopper, so he's way more talented on the singing department than I could ever be in my entire life. So he really is the bomb diggity of the bomb diggity. If you want it, then, you know, you got to get it from Pop. Those placemats are fabulous and pop original. I know, they looked really nice. I really liked them. In fact, he left the whole mess on my desk for me to clean up when I got back. <laughs> Isn't that nice of him? <laughs> there we go. Look at us. Look at us making this beautiful progress. He owes us two today. You tell him, Wendy. You tell. <laughs> Maybe on the 12 hour, he'll sing one of his barber shopper songs when he was, he was a young lad. He was singing in his tenor, tenor boys. Maybe at Christmas. Oh, holy Christmas. You like the green too? It's looking beautiful, isn't it, Lois? I'm quite happy with it. 
lolly toppy with it. Oh, I am, so I am, so I am. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, El Serenity. Welcome, welcome to the chat. So we're not, so we're not piece 39 out of 48 at the moment. 39 out of 48. We're getting there. Getting there. Keep, keeping the faith. Well, happy you're here, Elster Entity. It's beautiful. It's a good day here. It was raining earlier, but it was, it was a nice day. It was only about 18, maybe 20 degrees Celsius. So I don't know what that is in the, the Fahrenheit, but uh, probably maybe, what, 60, 70, something maybe around there. And we needed it. We need a little bit of rain. So. Mm. Why did you have 72 in mind? What do you mean 72 what? What am I missing? What am I missing? All right, 40. We got 41. We're going to do a little black, which is the barbs. Those black ones are called barbs. Barbs of the feather. Barbs of the feather stick together. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> that would be awesome, wouldn't it be, Gwenny? Oh, boy. I think all the dudes are used to saying what they're in British Columbia or if they're still around. Some of them were a couple of... They, they, they had a few years on them way back when. He sings in the car. Don't let him kid you. He sings in the car. Do, do, do. All right, just a couple more, and this one feather will be done. It, it takes a long time to get one feather done, let me tell you, but I think in the end it's going to be such a beautiful project. It would be so nice to have it hanging up in the quilt shop for everybody to see when they, you know, oh, I watched you put that together, or, you know, I, I saw that come together. It was so pretty. Well, here's hoping to say it's so pretty, but, you know. I can only assume at this point. <laughs> uh, right, exactly. I really like the fabric you used, Laura Lynn, in the sugar. Oh, thank you. That looked, turned out really nice, didn't it? I love the blues. Uh, I think one of those was your gift to us, I believe. Or two. Maybe two of them. Might have been two of them. It was so nice to come for it, and it looks so pretty against that black background, didn't it? Mm -mm. And of course, I chose all the shapes. <laughs> right, Allison? I gotta choose all the shapes. There's not just one shape. I'm like, ooh, oh, they got weeble wobbles here. Oh, they got this. And that. I'm like, oh, that's it. I'm doing it all. I'm doing it all. <laughs> all right, piece 44. Piece 44. Mm, just a bit late. Hello, Jan. Joanne, sorry. Uh, now things are open in my dance class. Has restored. Oh, very nice. Boogie, boogie. Boogie, boogie. Dance class. What kind of dance class do you do? After camping, I was doing like the old lady shuffle getting around here. <laughs> yeah, and I got a nasty bruise right on my arm there. It was, it, and that's almost like a week old now. So it's, it was, it was pretty bad at the beginning of the week. The boys were really concerned about it. So I'm like, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. It just hurts a little bit. It's, it's okay. I don't even know what I did. So that's the sad part. Yeah, I pinched, I pinched it real good. That's what I did. I just knew something was hurting, you know, like when you're, you know, you just touch things, you can, you know, your side or, you know, your boob or whatever. And it was like, wait a second, what's going on here? So I thought it was actually a bug bite at first. And then I looked at it and I was like, oh my goodness. And Pop said, yeah, I saw that yesterday when you got home from camping. 
He goes, I was going to ask you about it, but, you know, you didn't say anything. I said, I didn't even know it was there. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> boop, boop. I didn't even know it was there. So I knew I hurt, hurt it, but I didn't realize I, I, I pinched it that bad or bruised it that bad. So. All right, 45. 46 are barbs. They're just tiny little itty bitty black slivers of fabric. Do. Karaoke showdown. <laughs> there we go. I like that, Allison. That's, I like that. Karaoke showdown. <laughs> Next weekend. <laughs> Sweet Adelines. Yep, female barber chefs. Yeah, I almost joined one. I almost joined one because Pop was doing his barber shopper, and then the ladies would practice afterwards or before or something like that before they would practice, and it was like, oh, and they sounded so amazing. They were like, wow. And and such a, a strong vocal group that one was, you know, that we that was uh, in the same same district as whenever Pop was. All right, forty seven stitch down. I know, right, Mindy? I don't like, and it was just like I said, I didn't, like, I knew, like, it was hurting because, like, you know, I'd bang it up against my side or, like, side of my boob or whatever. It's kind of like, what's going on? I must have hurt myself and didn't think about it. I just figured it was, like I said, I just thought it was a bug bite because the bugs were kind of, the bugs lugged me. I don't know why. Maybe it's because, my, you know, my sweet disposition or something. I don't know why the bugs like me, but the bugs love me. Yikes. And even my girlfriend, Sandra Campbell, she goes, boy, they really like you, don't they? I'm like, I told you they do. <laughs> She's like spraying me down every like half an hour. <laughs> All right. That is one done. Let's give it a press. Okay. Check that out. Uh-oh. Today I have... To leave early, my cousin passed away in June. And oh, I'm sorry, Gwenny. Big hugs to you. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, hosting a son's company team building exercise. Oh, okay. Well, no worries. No worries. It's okay. I think it looked. I think that turned out nice. Let's give it a little press. No, no worries, Gwen. You can always watch the replay, and we'll be happily thinking about you and 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 knowing that you got some fun stuff going on your property. You know, so I'm so sorry about your cousin. So and this is all that's left over. I think I think I got all the from that from that project. So that's besides the trimming part. So yes, we will miss her definitely, Miss Helly. Very, very nice words there. So I turn it up to like a base stitch to go, and I stitch around. I've been stitching all the way around just in the seam allowance, just to kind of keep it all steady because I don't know when I'm actually going to get these together, and I don't want them shifting and rubbing against each other and possibly tearing up some of the seams or the or the the piecing of it or whatever. So I'm just doing a quick little baste all the way around just to keep it nice and steady, and I don't have to worry about it. It may take me a year to get all 75 of them done, so I don't know. I'm just I don't want to rush it, nor do I want to bore anybody by doing this three or four or five weeks in a row. So we need to find something else to do, right? So just stitching down where it would be in the seam allowance part. Nice big base stitch, of like 5.0. And then from there I found, oops, oops, whoa, whoa, who made that mess? Only one here. And then just trim it up from there. Yeah. Well, because I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to it, right? Oops. Okay, that one filled it under. And I don't, I don't, if it's coming in and out of the bag and you know what I mean? I just, I thought, oh, that might be a better idea if I just kind of do a little base stitch all the way. It's not going to hurt anything, really. It's not going to hurt anything. So, all right. So let's, let's trim this baby up. 
Did I trim the other one up? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, let's trim those two up. Let's trim the blue one up and the green one up, okay? Mm, uh oh, oh, top secret on general social media, but I can share here. Our daughter, Caitlin, Katie, is expecting. <gasps> they came to our campsite wearing clever t shirts. Oh, they did, did they? Oh, how awesome! Oh, my goodness, how exciting! How exciting! Oh, oh is James leaving? Oh, sorry, I gotta go for now. Hopefully, we'll see. You. Okay, well, take, take care. Have a big one. Have a good one. Have a good one. Have a good big day. Have a good big day. Very nice. Oh, congratulations. Oh my goodness. That's got to be so exciting. So exciting. So that's going to be, you do, one's due next month and that'll be grandchild number two. So, and then you got another one on the way. Oh my gosh, something so exciting to look forward to. One next month and one in a few months. Or well, not maybe, I don't know how many months, but you know, months obviously, right? Oh, how exciting. Oh. Congratulations to everybody, Ms. Allison. Congratulations to everybody. So exciting. I'm going to live vicariously through you people because Munchkin says he's not having any kids. So, you know, get your kids to start popping them out. <laughs> Auntie, Auntie Laura Lynn in Canada <laughs> says they can come and visit whenever they want. <laughs> come and hang out for the summer. <laughs> come have summers in the Maritimes. <laughs> Time are we at? Okay, 22. We could start another one. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got a little collection here. So we got purple, blue, one green, and a couple of oranges. Not bad. We got some pretty colors here. I think that's looking pretty good. Oh, excuse me. Sick, he's sick though. Oh, oh no. Eh. Well, maybe that's that. That'll maybe that'll pass if it's only in the beginning part of the pregnancy. Maybe it'll pass. So, I unfortunately suffered morning sick sickness the whole the whole way through. Unfortunately, it was kind of like I lived off of saltine soda crackers and ginger ale for probably a, a, a couple months there. I couldn't handle anything else. Maybe some ch steamed chicken or something or steamed fish, but yeah. Oh, how, how wonderful. How absolutely wonderful. Yeah, exactly. When's the due date? <laughs> we want to know. <laughs> oh, March. Oh, wow. That's, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's, that's we got, you got a, 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 a end, end of summer baby and a spring baby. Lovely. That's going to be, that's going to be so much fun. You're going to have your hands full. And just think, those little cousins are only going to be like five or six months apart. That's going to be so cute. Inside of crumb border, well, it might be the last border or two-inch border next. Keep on track, crumb quilt first. <laughs> Is that the one you're doing as a quilt, uh, quilt uh, together? Like, oh, did it start back? Oh, it did start back. I'm so new one out here. Mm. I had to lie down on the floor after each meal, so I wouldn't throw up. Oh, no, Helly. Oh, no. Yikes. Yeah, it was sometimes. Sometimes it just, you're like, I'm growing a baby. I'm just, it gets, it gets ginger ale and crackers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she will be a busy grandma, won't she, Mindy? <laughs> She's busy, busy, busy. She's got quilts to make. Yeah, so this is the... Uh, Leftover bits from one, and I've just literally been saving them. I didn't know really what to do with it, so I thought if somebody wanted them all, whoever you may be, I will send them to you <laughs> happily. All right, let's cut up our others. Okay. All right, can we, we're going to take a, a, a quick little, like, five-minute break, and then we'll be back for, like, another 45 minutes before we have to, uh, like, tidy up and do a showing. So I just got to go quick potty, so give me, like, give me a couple minutes, okay? All right, so quick break.
Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I got up to go and then Sophie got up to go, so I let her out and then she didn't go. So I was like, come on, move it. <laughs> it's like, come on, puppers. Okay, so that was the original setup the first time around. I want to mix them about. So let's put this here and that there. And we'll cut what I want to make the pieces out of these ones. Okay, so this one right here, I'm gonna make two inch by two and a half. That's gonna be the pants. What we're calling the pants of the pants of the pants of the uh, the peacock. <laughs> Okay, so put that up there, and then this down here, it's, it was the one, the one, the one and a quarter, and the one and three quarters. All right, so let's balance this out here. It's really started to rain now. I think that's why she decided, you know, she kind of went out a few steps, looked at me, and then turned around and came back. And I'm like, what are you doing? I thought you said you had to go out. <laughs> Silly poopers. Okay, so that's that. That's a whole piece. That's a whole piece. And these two get chopped in half. Okay. And I find it the easiest way to do it is this way because then you're not getting lost in the process of what you have to cut and what you have to put where. So it's, um, to me, I just find it a little bit easier. But I mean, you can certainly do it the pattern any way you like. So. So that was one and a half, and then we got one and a quarter, one and a quarter, and one. One and a quarter, one and a quarter, and a short one. Okay, so the one and a half is the straight one, and the other ones end up being two and three quarters and two and a quarter. Okay. okay and last but not least, guy here one and a half one and a half and two so one and a half one and a half and two these guys are two inches and three inches there and then this guy got into two inches, or two and a half, sorry, two and a half. It's really raining now. Okay, all right, let's do the other one. Mm -hmm. uh, any good recipes for squash? Maybe berry cobbler, I like anything homemade. Here, we use a corner of it. And then number two is over here. Oh, what happened, Catwell? What did I miss? Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. Oh. Hello, Rebecca. Uh, done my cleaning. How are y'all? I'm trying to get... Oh, happy you're here. We haven't seen you in a while. Glad, to, glad you're here with us today. Mm. Two, all right, between one and two. Oh, got to turn this down, right? It was at the base stitch before. We want to make sure that we're like, you know, 1.5 to 1.8 or something like that. Tiny stitches. Like tiny bubbles in the glass. T oh, I turned that upside down, and it, oh, it didn't even stitch. Whoops, okay, this clearly wasn't destined to be here. All right, hold on. Let's, uh, let's uh, just uh, deal with that. Try this again, shall we? Nub Sauce 101. Hi, my name is Nub. Nub Sauce. Okay, I think we're good now. I think we're good now. Yes, there we go. Bomb diggity. All right, number three. Making the pants. No pants dance, no pants, no pants. Try to refresh. Yeah, is it? Oh, yeah, it looks like I'm buffering too. Whoa, whoa. I'm sorry? Uh oh. I 
still have no sound. I don't know why nobody has sound. Oh, good gravy. It's just one of those days today? Holy bejeebies. Um, yeah, weird. Are we okay now? I'm still buffering some for some reason. I'm stuck. Uh, you take care there, Lona. Lana, sorry. Oh, Lona, Lana. Thanks. Sorry. All good here. It seems to get a little bit better. I don't know why. It's. It's. It, it didn't. It's not doing any more spinny wheel for me. So, which is good. Uh, what do we want? Four. Four. Four is this one right here. Weird. Line that up correctly. Make sure you're stitching down. It, this is a very complex little pattern, for sure. It's not, you know, with 48 pieces, tiny pieces in this one little section. It's, um, it's definitely uh, a labor of, of love at this point. So. Number five should be this one here. Mm. Spin it. What do you spin? Do you spin sheep or llama or emu? Not emu. <laughs> emu is a bird. <laughs> That'd be fun. That'd be fun to watch. Could you do that? I'd watch that. <laughs> spin emu yarn. Uh, llama or alpaca was what I meant to say, not emu. <laughs> what, what do you spin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spin some emu feathers. I want to see how that goes. <laughs> Have fun with that. <laughs> what happened to Lana? Well, you know, mom said spin some emu feathers, and, uh, you know, now she's in the hospital like a traction because she got kicked <laughs> by an emu. <laughs> uh, not funny, but a little funny all at the same time, sir. Yeah, I did two there, Karen. I, I even refreshed. <laughs> I gotta do it too, you know. Hello, Sonia. Where have you been, girlfriend? You have been missed around here. You been? Where you been hiding? <laughs> Glad to see you. Welcome, 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 Miss Sonia. Happy to have you here with us today. Big hugs to you. Did I get seven? I need seven. Seven is this one. Okay. You forgot. What? <gasps> Girl. <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. Oh, did I get that lined up? I think so. I hope I did. If not, seam ripper, seam ripper, you're my best friend. <laughs> yeah, I just bugging you, saw you. I'm sorry. <laughs> just hadn't seen you in so long, man. Come on. I missed you. Okay. Ooh, 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 I'm liking the mix of these greens. Mixing them up, baby. Mixing them up. I'll do one their way, and then I start doing the rest my way. Because <laughs> I can. Look at that. Look at them cute little yellow-green pants. Who wouldn't want a pair of them pants? I'd take a pair of those pants. Could be happy pants. Happy dancing pants. <laughs> All right, where are we at here? We're at eight. We're at nine. Nine. We start a new color. We start. What color do we start? Number nine, number nine, number nine, nine, nine. nine. I swear I'm going to have to write on the outside of this thing. It's kind of got a waxy coating to it, so I'm always afraid this little permanent marker is going to rub on it. 
So. Five and okay, and then this is nine, ten, twelve, eleven, fourteen, thirteen. There we go. Now I can see stuff. Good gravies. Okay, number nine. No, I'm doing it with a pen because then it's permanent. I don't want to. I don't want to lose it. So it's hard to see. It's hard to see. So I don't. I don't mind doing it in pen. It's my book. I bought it. It's all good. It's not like it's a friend of mine. If it was a friend of mine, I would have just copied the pattern onto another piece of paper or photocopied and then and then, and then wrote on it. So I wouldn't have I wouldn't have wrote on someone else's work or someone uh, else's project like that. So no, this is my booklet. And I plan on doing more because I'm going to have to do more of these, not necessarily this color layout, but more of these feathers for the whole peacock project to begin with, like to, to, to build out the, the peacock itself and then all the beautiful feathers that go with it. Oh, sorry. All the feathers that go with it, right? So that's going to be beautiful when we get tackling to that project. Oh, sorry, honey. I was trying to keep ahead of it, but we must be a little bit behind. So isn't that beautiful? There we go. And all and the cute little feet there, and then all the little tiny little thingies, whatever those are, little bum feathers, and then the big huge back feathers. It's going to look gorgeous. And then there's this one here, now that we have you all nice and close, and then it has the feathers going down this side of it, the fan side, instead of up right behind it. And then this is the beautiful project we're working on right now. So, and as you can tell, this here looks different. So like, take a good look at that for a moment. Okay, sorry. Look how that looks with all the colors, like kind of give it, give it a visual memory right there, okay? Now, when you go to the inside, it's completely different. The color layout is not the same. It's more on a higgledy-piggledy kind of scale sideways instead of open, <laughs> I don't know. So it's really do what you want to do. That's kind of what I got the interpretation from was, you know what, just do what you want to do and have some fun. So that's what, I, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing what I want to do and have some fun. Oh, bye, Bernadette. Big hugs to you. Yeah, we're 12 hours next week, Bernadette. So please join us, okay? And um, happy, happy cheers to you and, and Dublin. Thank you. In other words, you use your creative design. Well, I guess so. I just, I don't want them all looking the same, right? If I got the, the opportunity to make them a little bit different. Oh, I have alpaca, sheep, llama. Morano, oh my gosh, so, Swale Dale, oh my god, you have to explain that one there, Lana. B F L, Cory Dale, Humbug, Shavit, Shavat, Shavat, just to name a few. Oh, I, I can't even name those, let, let alone <laughs> say them. <laughs> It is gorgeous, Heather, and you would do amazing with it. I w when you said I could do it, and I literally said when I did it the first time, I'm like, Heather said I can do it, so I believe in me. Because <laughs> she says I can, and I think I can, because she told me I can, so I'm going <laughs> to. That's how, that's how, that was my thought behind it, so. Uh, all right. What did I do with the piece of, oh, I dropped it. I was like, wait a second, it's missing from the placemat here. Oh, there we go. Can't forget Romney, Gotland, Shetland. <laughs> oh, and Blue Lancaster. Oh, gee, Lancaster, Lancaster. Oh, joy, oh, yeah, yeah. Boy, that that was that's that's like a mouthful and a half. There's a place on the way to Arthur, isn't it, honey? That does it, it sells uh, llama wool. And I was like, ooh, we should stop in there sometime, but we we never have. Because I've always been busy with other things, but you know, we we may before we go. Sounds like sheep's. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sakes! I'm always get one in tucked under. Good gravy. Oh, Bob! Come on, Bob! 
work for me, Bob. Okay. All right. Do I need to put some more stitches in there? Probably. Because that got folded. Probably different types of sheets, right? You know, and, and, and of course, they would produce different types of wool, I, I would think. But, you know, what do I know? I'm not a sheep raiser, and I don't, I don't, I don't spin wool. Um, Pops, um, best man's mom used to spin, um, I, I believe it was sheep and llama. I actually, I think she used to spin pretty much anything. And she made some gorgeous, gorgeous things. She gave us a beautiful... Um, wedding uh, uh, blanket, all all spun by her, and then and then knitted by her. Wove? No, it was knitted. I'm sure it was knitted. And then when Munchkin came along, she did a, a very beautiful blanket for him as well. And it was just um, it's it's in the keepsake box. We'll we'll we will never ever get rid of those ones. That's for sure. They were just the beautiful beautiful pieces of art, and it just so appreciated her talent and. All right, so 10, we need 10. 10 is that one over there, okay. Oh, what's going on, Fiona? Oh, congratulations, oh, what am I missing? Look, 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 Okay, I missed it, I missed it. She's not on my screen. Oh, that sounds fun and much safer with a pandemic lingering. Mm -hmm. Everyone has been very busy changing my life. Stop nursing and now working on fabric shops so much. Oh, there we go. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. You got to do for you. And that's what, you know, life is only so long. I turned 50 this year and I figure I'm, I'm already at like the two thirds. I'm just going to say lucky. I'm just going to gauge by my mom's number. You know, if I make it to 75, I'll be happy. So I feel like I'm at the two-thirds part of my life, and I want the one-third left to be as enjoyable and as relaxed and as fun as I can possibly make it. I really, really want that. And I, and I feel that everybody deserves that. And if they get the opportunity to do it, then they should do it and not feel any regret or remorse or anything like that. What's up, Mr. Speedworks, my handsome UK friend? What you doing there, buddy? What you doing? So how do you feel about us moving a little closer to you? Huh? Huh? How do you feel about that? <laughs> Are you afraid, Speedworks? Are you? <laughs> Maybe you should be a little bit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, what piece am I looking for? I'm looking for 12. We want piece number 12. I'm making, hold on, I'll show you what I'm making. I'm making, well, besides these beautiful uh, feathers here, I've made of other colors. Do, 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 do. I'm making another green one. There we go. Making another one, but not like that. I'm making a little bit different. Aren't they pretty? They take 48 pieces of fabric per thingy. How close? <laughs> you're good? Okay, good. I'm glad you're good. Is Mr. Taraja streaming right now? I'll have to go bug him after. A wee bit of exciting fun. I know, right, Allison? A wee bit. A wee bit. <laughs> Gotta keep us on our toes, man. Gotta keep us on our toes. Loving it. Look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful greens. You know, you gotta, you gotta live. You gotta live the life. You can't. Ooh, oh, I forgot eleven. Oh, I jumped to twelve and forgot eleven. That's what happened with the other blue that got the long leg. Okay, just saying. Hold on. Let's sh let's show this off here. That blue got a long leg because I skipped one. <laughs> Should have done one over on this side like that, but that's okay. It's still cute, and we're still gonna lose, use it, not lose it, use it. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna fix that. Don't you worry. <laughs> All right, we got to do eleven. I got eleven. And thank you, thank you for saying that, Elizabeth. I appreciate that. I really do. 
and, and it means it means a lot. Like we've been here for for twelve years. It's it's done us well. We 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 purchased the house because it was close to schools and shops and everything else. And Munchkin was only thirteen, and it seems so weird that twelve years from thirteen equals twenty five. But it seems like such a huge, massive gap in between of growth, but it's really not. You know, it's come like adolescent into teenage to being a full grown adult. And it's like so much growth has happened in there. We accumulated a lot of stuff, so we had to deal with a lot of it. But, you know, in, in a way, I think it's, it's, a, good, it's a good thing for, for all of us. You know, oops, did that not go where I wanted it to go? No, it didn't. Why didn't it? Did you do the, did you do the, hold on. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Oh, yes, it was down lower, that's why. My bad. There's the 11 I was trying to aim for, not 17. And we just want everybody to be happy, right? And happy with them. You know, it, you know, it is 12 years. When you, well, no, yeah, no kidding. No kidding, Sass. Because I'm coming across things, I'm like, I don't remember. I'm like, wait a second, what year is it say on this? You know, and you know, we've kept a few things and so on and so forth. But yeah, it's uh, it's definitely been an, an adventure. Unfortunately, I did. Oh no, I did eight. Okay, so eleven, twelve, and then I need thirteen. Okay, thirteen is up here. Thought I did a boo boo there. Elle, you are welcome to move to Powell's in Wales, UK. We have everything you have your wish list here. <laughs> well, thank you, Georgia. <laughs> you got my 50 plus acres? Because <laughs> that's what I'm, I'm really liking. I'm really liking the 50 plus acres. Uh, this is that one. We uh, have a couple of ones we're looking at, but of course we can't purchase until or look into until this one's sold. And if, um, uh, yeah, sorry, Miss Allison, we did a video on the Home and Hearth channel yesterday. But you were camping, so you missed it. Yes, so I'm, uh, uh, yes, we are, but we're not going far. We're only gonna go a province over. We're realizing that our dream cannot happen here in Southern Ontario or anywhere in Ontario because of the price of the cost of, of land. And we're looking for anywhere from 20 to 100 acres or even more if we can get it for the amount that we're looking for. And we're building our quilt shop retreat. You guys have been so helpful in helping us realize the dream and it's a possibility and people want to come there. So now we want to make sure it happens sooner than the later. We don't want to have to wait or make you guys wait until we end up reaching the 30,000 mark of donation to try and make this happen. We want it to happen now. And that's what we're trying to do is to make sure it happens now, sooner than the later. And Munchkin gets his own space. We get our own space. And then there's the quilt shop and the retreat. And then we can build little cabins or we thought about getting modular little homes with the two bedrooms and a bath. You know what I mean? Like certain things like that that we can put on the property. There's, there's yeah, so much, so, so much, so much. Yeah, just check, check out the video and we'll keep everybody and up to, up to the date and to the loop of things and everything else like that. We want, we want to keep you on board because this is your, your guys' is, dream of wanting to come and hang out with us at the Quilt Shop Retreat is making our dream a reality and we just want to make it happen. So I know you're busy, you're busy, honey, and I appreciate that and we, and we, and we love you dearly. So, and what we plan to offer for the Canadian um, uh, people is you, if you ship your quilt to us, we ship it back to you free. So that, you know, you can still send your quilts to get quilted by us and projects to be done by us. We just ship it back to you free. You still get your options of what you want for thread and stitch out. If you want my own personal touch, that's fine. So on and so forth, you know, it's, it's all still available. Nothing's changing in that aspect whatsoever. The videos will still be there. The member videos will still be there. The Wednesday, the Friday, probably more live streams in, than normal because we plan on doing some cross stitch and some bead work and stuff like that. We want to work that into the project. So there's going to be, there's going to be all over the place. I'm Canadian mom. Yes, you are. We, we have adopted you, Miss Ellie. <laughs> have you got your package yet? Oh my God, I hope they didn't lose it. I'll be so upset if they lost it. If they lost it, lost it. Hello, good or English? So, yes. I'm sorry, I'm so excited. I, I'm just blabbing on. I'm just blabbing. I'm just blabbing because I'm excited. 
just just you know it's it's at first it was the the dream was kind of like just a touch and now it really just seems like it could be a reality and it's just it's so right there and it just i just you know i just want it so bad <laughs> well there you go speedworks you can come visit them and us <laughs> oh had <laughs> okay well you can still visit us we're family to you we'll always be family to you speedworks and especially when i come there i plan on visiting too so you can't get rid of us that easy you can try, but you can't. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Miss Helly. And I can't wait for you to come visit, too. Because our moderators stay for free. Guaranteed stayed for free. Miss Allison will bring her own home anyways. She's just going to bring her home on wheels. <laughs> like, that's it, Eric. We're going up Canada way. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna spend a couple weeks in touring the southern coast of 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 of, uh, of Canada. <laughs> I'll bring my tent. Oh no, those will be they'll be uh, they'll be little either bunkies or little cabins for everybody there, Karen. No worries. There'll be little bunk places for people to to stay. For, for, you know worries and they'll have like little bathrooms and like little kitchenettes and you're if you don't want to hang out with us you want your own private time or get a little I get a little bit too much trust me I know I've, I've heard that all my life I get a little too much uh, but I am what I am and you accept me or you don't um, so and you got time to, you got a, you got a space to get away you don't have to hang out with us all the time if you don't want to right so and there's other things to do there's you know the the provincial capital there's the bay of fundy there's all sorts of other things to do if you wanted to do that too right and we can we can arrange that we've already thought about purchasing uh you know a eight person capacity sort of van sort of thing so we can kind of scoot ourselves around here there and everywhere uh, that we want to get to around the province or even go into other provinces like Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, or even over to New Brunswick. Uh, not New Brunswick, sorry. Um, um, uh, uh, Newfoundland, sorry. Brain's farting. Just trying to, trying to think of other things. Yeah, it's just our target because the, the land is cheaper there. Exactly, right, Pop? Sorry. Sorry, I should, should clarify that. But we, that's where we have been looking. So, but, but we have looked in Manitoba as well. Uh, we've looked at a couple places in Saskatchewan. Um, same, same with Alberta. You know, there's a few things that have popped up. Even British Columbia has even popped up on our list. So, you know, we don't really have anything excluded at this point in time. It's what within, fit, fits within our range of what we're looking for and budget. So that's, that's pretty much it. 19 this one. it doesn't matter Karen though it's a it's a it's a fairly fairly fair size uh, province it's not too too bad so it doesn't really matter I, I'm looking for more I like water but like I said if I don't get it I'm more than willing to hire a backhoe and he can go dig me a pond so I'm fine with that too I want me water hello Lisa Lisa just bought me a go. Oh, very nice. Just for me. Oh, very nice. Good, good, good. That shall bust some really nice. Bust your scraps, baby. What sort of uh, size did you get? What die cutter did you get? What are we at here? Three? Okay, we got to let me finish the greens here and then I guess we'll have to sign off because we have a showing in about an hour and we got some tidying up to do. Um, do, 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 do. So fingers crossed, all the bids should come in for tomorrow. So everybody get your fingers crossed for the highest amount that we could possibly think of because that just makes our dream that much more of a reality and things to happen that much quicker. So. I think we bought really well um, 12 years ago considering what we were uh, quoted for, 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 for price for this of what we could get. 
even though there's quite a bit of work that needs to be done on it, like a whole bathroom needs to be done um, in the basement and so on and so forth. But still, still, it's a very potential uh, business opportunity for people to fix, just fix her up and rent it. I mean, we've already redone the kitchen. We put a new roof on. We put an AC in. We put a new uh, water, furnace, air conditioner, like pump, fence, paved driveway. We put lots of things in here. One billion dollars, I wish. <laughs> You're so cute, my love. You're so cute. Okay, so here's the green all done. Let's give that a press. Oh, it's looking good. I like this one. I'm liking the transition of the greens on this one. Yeah, so please follow and subscribe to the Home and Hearth Living Channel if you want to find out what's going on. We'll talk a little bit about it here, but all the details and camera footage and all the major, major details will be on that channel for sure. So if you haven't done so now, do it now, right now, like right now. HHL, Home and Hearth Living, YouTube, now. Did I say now? How about now? Uh, yes, most likely, James. We may actually switch it to a more another day during the week, like maybe uh, you know Wednesday would be the obviously long on Wednesday, Friday the weekend project, but live stream Saturday, maybe a Tuesday, Thursday, as well. So there's there's always options. This we could live stream more often, do different projects, collaborations with people. No, need to do that with 1.6. So it'd be 620,000 US dollars? Wow. Holy moly. Bird mosquito. <laughs> <It's the problem. laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, where was it? 22, 23. That's too funny. <laughs> Thank you, Karen Little. I really like them too, actually. I really like the way the first one turned out. And I'm just trying to get a little white around this one so we can see just a little bit better before we uh, we call it for today. So, And then be sure to mark your calendars. we got 12 hours next Saturday. 12 hours. Maybe we make some like little berry tarts or something like that. We've got lots of berries are in season. And I don't mind making some pastry, making some tarts and stuff. I can pre-bake those or whatever. We can we can do something. We can have we can have some fun. We'll have some terry, cherry tarts or berry tarts, and then and then some uh, maybe something. We we'll make something for dinner. Maybe like uh, I don't know, like chicken cheesy pasta or something. Uh, I need a square. Where's the squares? I know I had some here. I only used one. For Pete's sakes, where'd the other ones go? Did you put your did I put you in here? Oh I did, probably. There it is. Okay. I keep putting it on my pants to see what <laughs> where the the little tiny little flower pattern is. It's kinda hard to tell what it go from from uh, from one side to the next. Oh bye Gwynnie, take care, big hugs. We'll see you next weekend, maybe. Good luck to everybody. And big hugs to you. Oh, thank you, Sarah Day. Big hugs. Thank you so much. It's nice to hear the some very lovely positive feedback. I, I wish we could afford Ontario, Lisa. Lisa, we've looked. We've looked. We've even looked all the way up, and but it's not going to get us the land we want and the dreams we want. So, okay. So there we go. There's the other green one started. I'll finish that off during the week. So there's this one and this one. That's what we've done for today. Okay, it does take time. They are beautiful, lovely little projects. I could see making a few pillows for people like this, boarding it up, like getting a couple colors and then just bordering it up a little bit and then sending it off to them as like a little pillow. That's my boo-boo one, but that's okay. That's the one with the long pant leg. There we go. And then there. Okay. So those are those ones so far. We're making some progress. It says 75. I'm not sure if I'm going to be making 75, but we'll let you know. <laughs> okay. All right. 
So thank you everyone for hanging out with us today and giving us all your love and support on our next adventure. We greatly appreciate it. And like, again, if you're not a subscriber of the Home and Hearth Living Channel, please do so now. Even if you're watching this well afterwards, please come become a subscriber. You can see the adventure along the way. Things you probably don't want to see, but you're going to see anyways, like cleaning out basements and into the container bins and garage and everything else and how we pack our dishes. You never know. So we'll, we'll, we, we love you and we appreciate you very much. And thank you for your, you coming along with this adventure with us. And we hope to see you very, very soon. And remember, next weekend, 12 hours. So come hang out with us. We'll do some baking and some, we've got the, the quilt project is already on the Guild website under the future streams of what we'll be working on that day. It's a very simple one. It looks like a little bit of a staggered kind of fence sort of thing. Um, uh, but you can do it in many different colors. It's very jello roll friendly, so, okay. Big hugs to everybody and we'll see you soon and wish us luck, wish us luck. Okay, bids come in tomorrow. More the merrier. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy the day.